For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another offense for you guys today out of my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. I know a lot of people haven't really been liking the stuff that I've been putting out. To me, the Saints is still one of the best offensive playbooks in the game, although when the season started, I really was disappointed with some of the formations that they took away. Uh, today, though, I'm going to show you guys another run-heavy offensive scheme, as well as a scheme that you can really get a lot of explosive passing plays out of. This is going to be part one. If you guys want to see part two, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I can put out part two tomorrow. Now, the formation we're going to be focusing on today is a strong slot flex but they only have one strong formation in this playbook but it's a really good one you're going to want to make sure that when your substitutions come up you're going to have a running back at the fullback spot the faster the fullback the better and then as far as my audibles go the top two plays are going to be the stretch and the fullback dive the toss is also a really good play although this is something that um, probably has a higher percentage chance of you getting caught for a loss so that's something that i'll probably use sparingly and then last but not least the passing play which if you guys want to see tomorrow hit the like button i'll show you guys this this is a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game it's the pa post shot so those are pretty much uh the most important plays this is a very run heavy formation you're going to pound the rock pound the rock pound the rock and then you're going to have this play here which is going to give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to passing uh which is basically going to be your home run so you're going to draw that user forward then you're going to hit him over the top with uh with big plays the fifth play i'll pick i'll pick the uh, halfback dive and then on the defensive side we're just going to go with uh, random 4-3. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up, I know the uh, the winter promos are dropping now. Check them out. Links in the description below. Use discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. So, as far as the uh, the run plays go, the dive is a really important play. I'll get to that in a minute. I really didn't mention that uh, too much early on, but you're going to basically, you know, for the stretch run especially, a formation like this where there's no cornerback outside, this is going to be the best time to run stretch or even a toss i would say if you're running a man coverage and there's nobody out here the toss might be best although there it looks like they ran commit but you can see i still get outside of it so anytime there's no cornerback out here that's one of the few times that i would say run the toss any other time you're going to run into problems so if you have that look, if you have a look where there's where, where a toss or like even like this, a double blitzing safety, I would say a toss once again would be a good look because they're going to be coming in right at the gut. This will give you an opportunity to try to get outside. The toss plays a really good run play out of this formation. Like I said, just has the capability that you couldn't get shut down and take a loss if you're not careful. So right here, like I said, this is not a good look for a toss. We have a cornerback outside there. He'll probably come down and cause problems. You can see, I mean, I could still kind of get outside because I have a little bit of a speed advantage, but it's not necessarily going to be a big play. But the toss is a really good play. It's one of the better toss plays in the game. Here we have a cornerback really tight. You can see this is more of a look where I could probably, you know, basically seal that edge with a stretch. So here, because that cornerback's in so far, I should be able to get those blockers on that, and then the stretch is going to be a really good run. So that's really the basis of this formation. You have a lot of really good plays when it comes to getting outside, uh, and you can also motion across one of these receivers. If you have a zone coverage, like here, this is a man coverage, so it doesn't make a ton of sense to motion this guy across, but if you have a zone coverage and you want to give yourself a little more of a blocking advantage, you can always motion across this B route. You cannot motion across the other receiver. He does not motion across. Just keep that in mind. But here's another play. I could try the stretch safety's in the box he probably could get caught up in the wash as you can see i mean i pretty much just get a lot of blocking you know it's just a really good blocking play the stretch play and the toss play so the bread and butter this really is going to be the stretch and the toss but you have some really good inside runs as well now, i'm not going to focus on that right here once again it looks like we don't have that cornerback out here uh, the toss like i said this year i'm really going to go with the stretch because we do have a tightly packed box and i find the stretch will probably give me the best opportunity to get outside as you can see boom we get another very big run right here and uh you know there's really only one guy safety a lot of times is keeping 
you from scoring, but we're still getting hellacious runs, a very explosive run formation. Now, the blunt dive is not a play that I went over too much. There's a couple of really good inside runs, the fullback dive and the blunt dive. Anytime you have a look like this where the linebacker is reacting to the receiver's pre-snap, he's kind of aligning over that, you can basically just hit him with a fullback dive and have a very successful inside run. Uh, you're not necessarily going to always get the biggest run, but it's still something that you can take for five yards a pop. And that's pretty much how you decide what to run, whether it's an outside run like right here, a uh, toss or a stretch would be good because it looks like we're in a man coverage. There's no cornerback outside, once again, because of the two receivers on the left side. Or you could also run inside. The two receivers on the left are also kind of creating space for a potential fullback dive. I mean, there's a lot of different options you could go with here. And then you can see it's all being created by the, the alignment, the formation with the two receivers. So here we definitely don't have any, uh, you know, cornerback outside there. The safety's playing kind of back. Let's go and let's hit him with a toss. Like I said, this is really all about this guy laying this dude out. And then you can see, I mean, this is just a really easy play. So, you know, obviously your opponent is probably going to try to take away those big runs. That's why you have the counter, which is going to be these inside runs. So to recap, the stretch is good against anything really, except for cover two, with hard flats especially. Um, but the toss is really only going to be good when there's no cornerback outside. So this play here, I mean, I don't really have a great option inside. They're kind of packed up. Obviously, the stretch is going to be the best run here. Uh, and then I just need, uh, you know, a little bit of blocking to set up. And you can see, once again, the cornerback drops back, gives me that outside lane, and it's just a really easy run. The fullback dive is really something you only use, like in a situation like this where the linebacker's reacting to the safety pre-snap, or you got short yardage. I mean, it's not really something that you're gonna get a, a huge amount of yards every time, as you can see right there. If we're getting four or five yards of carry, um, that's a good run, and I'll take that. That's really just a play to set up these outside runs anyway. Here, looks like we got that cover three. We're gonna hit with that stretch to see the edge seals, and you know, we just have some really explosive runs to the outside. That's really the, the basis of this formation. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see more glitchy pass plays out of the Saints or more from this formation, I can do an entire breakdown of this offensive formation, which for right now, now, will only be on my Patreon, in my ebooks, and in my Join Now community tab. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and you know, links in the description. But if you guys want to see more, hit the like button, and I'll try to put that out at a later date. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.